Hi and welcome to the Zoom training. Today we're going to talk about breakout rooms. Breakouts are normally used to break down a larger group into smaller groups. This is going to be really useful during group activities or during introductory sections. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so once you're on the Zoom call, on the bottom hand of your screen, you're going to find a little button that says breakout rooms. So you're going to want to click on it as the host of the meeting and a window is going to pop up it says assign participants into and then you get to pick the amount of rooms that you want to create now you're going to see that as i increase the amount of rooms that i create right here on the bottom hand side the amount of participants per room, per room gets lower so in this case there are three participants in this call plus me so uh, it only takes into account the amount of participants additional to the host that are in the meeting so in this case, if I create one room, it'll take three participants into that one room. If I create two rooms, it'll take one to two participants into the other room. So let's go ahead and create two rooms in this case. Two. If I so once I click open all rooms in the bottom right hand corner, everybody currently has received that request. And on everybody's side is going to say the host is inviting to it's inviting you to join a breakout room, breakout room two and is going to say join or later and people have the choice to obviously join so as people begin to join you're going to see that people's status begins to change so once that green button shows up it represents that people have joined the breakout room if the button hasn't showed up then people have not joined the breakout room yet now the cool thing about this is that you as the host are able to join any breakout room that you want so in this case if I want to join this breakout room because there's this person just standing by themselves I can join them click yes and there you go I'm currently in a breakout room with trainer number two now let's say for some reason I wanted to jump back to the first breakout room then I can go here open breakout rooms click breakout room one join it asks you you say yes and now in breakout room one so it's really simple um, if you want to leave to the main session think about these as you know separate rooms from the main auditorium so if you want to if you want to leave to the main session all you have to do is click leave and I'm current I'm currently now in the main session um, and then the cool thing about this is that you can broadcast messages to all the participants so I can say you know two minutes left and that message is now broadcasted to all the participants telling them hey you only have two minutes I'm about to, I'm about to close all the, close all the groups so if I click here close all groups it gives all the participants 60 seconds to finish their conversations and either to close their groups now or to you know just kind of finish up so something else I want to show you is um, you can recreate rooms and down here in the bottom left hand corner you have other options so here are your advanced options you can um, uh, change the amount of time for that final countdown at the end from 60 seconds to two minutes or 30 seconds or 10 10 seconds whatever else you want and depending on your subscription you'll be able to also uh, break out rooms automatically after a certain amount of time and you can mess with those options right there and that's pretty much it for breakout rooms if you have any questions please reach us at trainer at onehope.net or talk to your uh, local training team member thank you